Good morning, welcome to our workout today. How are you guys? We are gonna have a jam-packed workout. The equipment that you need this morning is a small loop band if you have one, two sets of dumbbells, maybe a medium set, I chose eights and tens for us today, and a mat or a bench. I'm Maureen from Essential Fitness. Thanks for joining us. This is Cynthia, and Cynthia's going to use a bench. She'll show you the things that you can do on it, and I'll show you if you don't have one. So right from behind your bench, we're just going to start with running on and off. And if you don't have one, you're just going to be in place. I hope you guys are ready to get a full body workout in today. Oh, yeah, start your watch if you want credit for your workout. I would put this under high intensity interval training today because we're going to be moving a lot. We're going to burn a lot of calories. We're going to sweat, have a good time. Five more on this leg. Pump your arms a little bit. Ready, switch, left. Now if you're not a jumper, you can just be marching in place. Good job. Keep getting up and down that bench if you have one. Five more. Excellent, okay, now we're going to jumping jacks. Low impact is right here, but I want you to get your arms up all the way. So we're gonna warm up your shoulders and your upper body here. Get your heart beating a little bit and get your body prepared for exercise. Good job. Keep going, 10 more seconds, five, four, three, two. Now we're gonna take this into a version of seal jacks, but it's arms out to the side and a tap back. So low impact looks like this, or you can jump it. Your choice, okay? Stretch your chest, open it up. Five more, four, three, two, and then we're going back on your bench, okay? Forward and back, right leg. You wanna get your whole foot up on the bench if you can, and you wanna step up softly. Good job, pump your arms a little faster. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, switch it out. Left leg, forward and back, in place, or on your bench. Very nice. Good job. Four, three, two, one. Nice. Now on the bench, she's going to go side to side over the short side of the bench. We're going to go side to side over our mat, okay? So on and off. And then add your arms. Our goal first today is to get you moving. Get you warm, sweaty, burning some calories. Very nice. All the way on, all the way off. And then low impact, of course, you just keep one foot down all the time. Keep adding those arms, reach a little higher, make it a little more dynamic for me. Eight more. Perfect, three, two, one. Good, back to those seal jacks with taps, opening up the chest. You can jump or stay down. Either one is perfectly fine. We're also going to incorporate some weight training for sure today, and we're going to pair that up with some cardio moves, because we're going to go for a maximum calorie burn today. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, a little bigger, come on, two, one. One more time, back to the run, here we go, forward and back right. Pump your arms. I want you to go a little faster and I'm gonna make this interval a little bit shorter. You have four more. Beautiful, switch, left, good. Eight, 
You got it. Four, three, two, one. Side to sides. Ready? Over and off with a reach. Very nice. Pull your belly button in. Relax your shoulders while you reach above. Five, four, three, two, last one. Very nice. Okay, ready? Fold forward. We're going to do a quick little stretch. Reach towards the ground. Relax your head and neck. I'm just going to check on you guys. Good morning, everybody. We're so glad you're joining us today. And roll it up. Let's cross one foot over the other and fold down. And up. Other side. Very nice, roll it up for me. And let's grab one dumbbell, medium weight for a shoulder press. So we're gonna put this dumbbell in your right hand, weight on your right leg, half lunge back. So it's just a step back, up and then shoulder press, step back and press. So because we didn't choose a really heavy weight, we're gonna be slightly up tempo on this. Very good. And we're gonna go a little bit higher reps than we would if we had a very heavy weight. So your core is engaged. Your weight is all on this right foot. Yes. Here we go. Eight, exhale, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Perfect, let's switch back and up. So really no time in the transition. You just get right going on the new side. This keeps that heart rate elevated. Good job. Neck is really relaxed here. Try not to use your traps on this shoulder press. Eight more. Four more. Perfect, set that in front of you. Next we're going to hamstring curls. So. Low impact is this, high impact is this. We have 20 seconds. Good. Bring that heel up towards your glutes. Eight, seven more, keep going. Six seconds. Three, two, Squat, ready? We're gonna go down to a narrow squat. Hold for a second, let's check this form. Weight in your heels, toes are light in your shoes and you can see your shoes. Great, stand up, back down and hold. We're gonna be here for five seconds. Good, and stand, hold. Check those toes, lift your chest and stand. Great. Two more, down, hold for five. Awesome. Rock back in those heels and lift. Great, we're gonna go back to your shoulder. Let's go heavier. A little slower and a little heavier. Weight on your right leg. A little bit deeper into a lunge. Drop that back knee. Up, press. Down. So we're going in this tempo just a little slower, more controlled, five, four, three, two, switch, good job. How does it feel? Pretty good. <laughs> Down slowly in a lunge, bend that back knee a little bit. <laughs> right. <laughs> Five, four, three, two. Very nice. Good job. Set that down. Hamstring curls. Ready? Pull those arms. Feet up towards your butt. We 
are incorporating that slow strength move with a quick fast twitch move here. 15 seconds. Please work out at your own pace at your level. You can keep up with us doing low impact. You're just gonna do fewer. Three, two, one, very nice. Here we go, down, hold, chest high, weight in your heels. Good, stand, hold, and stand, nice. You wanna feel the tension in your quads here, and then you wanna squeeze and engage your glutes on the way up. Great, three more great ones, okay? Down, hold, chest high, last one. Perfect, good. Now we're gonna double up on those heavy weights, so one in each hand. Your shoulders are gonna be, double, be doing the, double the amount of work. Back with the left leg in a lunge, hands right here for the shoulder press, drop down, press up slowly, drop down, and a press. Breathe in here, breathe out here. Breathe in as you drop, breathe out as you press. You still should not be feeling this in your neck at all. Make sure you're not accelerating as you do this shoulder press. It's the same speed. Two more here. Very nice switch. New lunge and press. Drop down slowly. Keep your shoulders relaxed. Think about pressing with your arms, which will help disengage your traps. And it'll help you actually find your shoulders. Great. Four. Three. Two. One, perfect, excellent. Okay, last time, hamstring curls, ready? Pull. Very big, I'll show you low impact again. Very dynamic. Get those arms moving. Get that body going. Eight, seven seconds, pick it up. Three, two, one. One more set of shoulders, okay? Two hands. Come on down in that right-legged lunge. We're gonna stay in this lunge. Set it up so that each foot has a lane. They shouldn't be on a tight rope. Lift and drop. So we're gonna be staying in these loaded legs position. Good. Press, drop, press. Load that front leg a little bit. Four more. Three, two, one, switch. Ready? Press, relax. You should be able to see your shoe in the front at all times. So use those visual cues to help you do it right. Four more, everybody. Four. Three. Two. Nice, hold on to these dumbbells. Here we go, squats. Head up, chest out. Hold, rock back in your heels. And lift, back and down. Good job. Sit, sit, sit. We're aiming for about 90 degrees. Get your hips down. Try to keep your feet flat. Lift. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Very nice. We're gonna set your weights off to the side and we're going back to your mat or the bench, whichever you have. 
And we're gonna go sideways. So she's doing long flyovers from the side, off the side. Yep. If you're on your bench, or sorry, if you're on the floor, you're just up and over your mat. We like to add the arms because they increase the difficulty, makes it harder, makes your heart have to beat a little harder and faster, which is what we're going for today. Four, three, two, one. Perfect, nice. Come on to your mat and we're going wide straddle squat. So your toes are gonna be out. Drop and lift. So we're gonna use this first set without any weight. We're just doing body weight. You wanna make sure your feet are flat the whole time. Good, now let's add a level with your hands behind your head, which is gonna help you keep that chest lifted. Good. Drop, squeeze your inner thighs on the way up. Squeeze your glutes and your quads. Very nice. Seven, six, five, four. You're doing great, three. We're so glad that you joined us today. Nice, grab your medium set of weights for bicep curls. We're adding these onto your side, or your wide squats, okay? So we're gonna go down and hold, abs tight, tuck your tailbone under, ready? And we're going alternating, sorry. <laughs> we're holding and alternating. Right up, left up, right. Look at your wrist, make sure it's not bent. It should be straight the whole time. Good job. Pull, pull, very nice. Let's do four more. Sit down for me. Keep that belly button in and your tailbone pointed down. Last one, very nice. Back to your side flyovers. Here we go, very simple move, but extremely effective. Up and over, up and over. You can get a lot done in a very small space. You don't need a lot of room. You just need enough room for you and your mat. Very good. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Perfect. Okay, now we're going heavier dumbbells. These are going to go on your shoulder for these wide squats. So, Toes and knees should be pointed out at the same angle. Dumbbells on your shoulders. Drop down just like you did when your hands were behind your head and lift up. Squeeze your legs hard on the way up. Good job. Eight, seven, nice, six, making those legs in your core do the work here. You should not feel this in your knees. Keep them back behind your toes. And let's go down and hold. Two-handed bicep curls. So roll those shoulders back and down. Pull and relax. Very good. Exhale as you pull. Keep in that squat. Keep the tension on your quads. Three more great ones. Three, deeper for me. Two, one, I love it. Let's finish this round strong, okay? Try not to take a break here. I know you're getting sweaty. We are too, but let, we're gonna finish this round strong. And then we'll take a break so that we can start our next round even stronger. 10, a little bigger if you can. Get up and out. Good job, everybody. Last time over and back. Perfect. Wide squat, heavy dumbbells. Okay. Down and lift. Six, 
So if you've watched any of our nutrition workshops, you know how important it is for women over 40 to lift weights. Right now we're using body weight and a little extra dumbbell weight on these legs. So that's how we're challenging your legs. Two more for me. Great, down, hold. We're gonna keep the challenge on the legs. Now we're adding a bicep curl. Elbows right by your side. This is making your bones stronger as well. So these bicep curls, this resistance training increases your bone density. Sit for me, five, four, three, two, last one. Good job, shake it out. Get a drink if you need one. Wipe off the sweat. Okay, if you have a little loopy band, we're gonna start here next with it on the floor. It's gonna go on your wrist. If not, your modification would be with dumbbells. We're gonna be doing internal and external rotation. So on the wrist, this is for your posture muscles. Ready, out and in. Posture muscles, rotator cuff, okay? So this challenges the back of your shoulder. And the key here is that you don't take your elbows away from your sides. Don't involve your shoulder, okay? So stays tucked in. No daylight between your upper arm and your shirt. And now squeeze your glutes for me. Get a little taller, hold your abs tight. Five, four, three, two, one, stand up. Next, keep the tension on these. We're gonna go in an upright hand grip. So we're gonna lift the left knee and we're gonna lift the shoulders up, hold. Pull outwards with the hand. Good, drop down, same leg. Up, pull outwards and down. So a little core challenge. Good job. We're staying in those shoulders. We're keeping, we're still working on them. Good. Lift your rib cage a little higher for me. And it's important that this right down leg is straight. Two. Great, switch. Next, shoulder height with the arms. Lift the knee and pull outwards and down. And the arms are just gonna stay here. The knee comes up. Good, roll those shoulders back and down. Try to stay out of your upper neck and your traps. Pull with the outside of your shoulder. Very nice, left leg is straight, pretty much locked. Four, three, two, one. Relax, fold forward towards the ground. Stretch it out, we're keeping this band on. Great, now you're gonna lift those hands up overhead, all the way up, hold here. Increase the tension on that band. Calf raises up and hold for me and drop. Up, good, perfect. Try to lift up straight on your foot. Squeeze your inner thighs together. Great, turn on the shoulders a little bit more. Pull out there, five, four, three, two, one, very nice. Okay, come on back down kneeling. Okay, relax your shoulders for a minute. We're gonna get your elbows down and we're going in and out again. Little pulsing. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Grab one of your medium dumbbells, bring it up with you. We're gonna hang on to the edges. Okay, you know what's coming. Let's go, ready? Lift the left leg, arm up overhead. Relax down. Really tall, pull your belly button in for me. Lift, hold, and relax. Very good balance, you guys. Nice. So we've got a little tension on this band. We're doing a double arm 
front raise all the way up. Yes, two more. Good, okay, switch, ready? Up, pull the tension out, hold this dumbbell up. Lift and drop. We're just gonna hold these shoulders up here. They're on fire right now, I hope you can feel them. I sure can. Lift, yes, up, four, three, two, we are not done yet. Up we go, Whoo! Lift the calves, up, up, up on the toes, lift the heels for me, engage your calves. Good. Now, obviously, we're not pulling outwards on this band because you've got to hold on to this dumbbell. Keep going. Nice. Seven. Six. Good job. Four. Try a little higher. Get up there. Pause for a second. Work on your balance and your core. One more. Very nice. Good. A little rest. We've got one more round. Here's where you're making the decision. Can you go heavier or is the one you had enough? In and out and maintain good form. I'm sure you could go heavier, but how's it gonna look if you do? Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, perfect. Good job, up we go. Okay, straighten your right leg, put your weight on it. Get ready to lift the left, up. Good, relax your neck on the way down. Slow controlled lift, abs in hard. Good job. I'm sure if you're a little wobbly that you've gotten better as we've gone on this. Good job, you're halfway there. Drag it up, nice. Hands can stay nice and relaxed. Keep the tension on those wrists. Very good, last one. Perfect, now we turn it on a little harder. Up, lift and hold, good. Tap down, roll your shoulders back and down. Now if you start feeling this in your neck, lighten your weight or get a little lower. Five, four, yes, roll those shoulders down and back into your back pockets. Awesome, up, good job, lift. You want a little pause at the top. You're doing great, everybody. Do not apologize for taking 45 minutes to an hour for yourself today for your health and wellness, an investment in your future. Don't apologize for that. You deserve it, you are worth it. It's worth it. Four more, four, three, two, great. Okay, come on down, keep this band on. We're going on to all fours, ready? So we're gonna, uh, uh, hands and knees, tap to the right. Tap to the left. So your shoulders and your upper body do not change much. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Great, hold. Put those hands right under your shoulders. Pop it up into a plank. Hold here. Tuck your tailbone under. Slow mountain climbers. Up, 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 up. Try not to rock back off your hands. Get your shoulders right on top of them. Great. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hold, strong plank for me. Drop it back in a downward dog and relax your head and neck for a second. Breathe in, breathe out, flatten out, plank hard. Squeeze your inner thighs, squeeze your quads. Squeeze your calves, everything. Five, four, three, two, one. Drop down to your knees, taps again. Oh my gosh, your shoulders should be on fire right now. Mine are eight, seven, six, five, four, 
three, two, one. Tension, plank, hold. Mountain climbers, pick it up for me. Get your hips a little lower. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good, downward dog, relax, two seconds. Breathe in, breathe out, plank it forward, shoulders over your hands. Oh my gosh, the sweat is coming. This is hard, hang on, downward dog. Shift forward, hold. Squeeze everything hard, hard, hard. One more, backwards. Inhale, exhale, forwards and hold. Very nice, drop down, child's pose. Stretch it out, keep these bands on. I wanna give you a little break before we finish this third round. Good job. Are you ready? Ready, we are ready, all fours, taps, 20. We're gonna go and go. You can do it. Small muscles, we are fatiguing them. We're gonna challenge them, make them stronger. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, whoo, up. Mountain climbers. Go, go, go. 20 seconds. You're doing great. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Good. Downward dog. Exhale, shift forward onto your hands and hold. Roll your shoulders back and down. Now you're gonna take your shoulder, your weight a little ahead of your hands. Good job, back and downward dog. If that bothers your wrist, you don't have to do that move. Inhale, exhale, drop forward. But it does challenge your shoulders a little bit more if you can do it. Back again, we have two more of these. And forward. Great, last one. And up. Nice, very good, drop those off. Whoo, sweaty, sweaty. Okay. We're going back to lunges. We're gonna go to lunging pulses. So let's go back with your right leg. Okay, come on down. Load this front left leg, and then I want you to tap up without standing up. Stay crouched, reach, and tap. Reach, tap. So when you're reaching, the goal here is that you're not rocking back for, backwards and opening up. Really stay crouched on this left leg. Seven, six, five, four, three, Good, switch, down. Right leg in front now, left leg back, crouch down for me. 80 to 90% of your weight on this front leg. Ready, tap up, reach back. Stay low. You should be able to see your entire foot on this right shoe. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, good, okay, now we're gonna go to side one-arm push-ups. So we're gonna lay on your right side, tuck your right arm underneath you, and put your left hand by your right shoulder. Knees are bent, ready? Push up and extend that left arm and drop down. Up. Now, if you're new to these and you're struggling, you can use this right arm a little bit you can push up on your elbow. You can help with your down arm, okay? Four, three, two, one. Good, flip. Tuck that left arm under, 
or use it to help if you need. And extend and push. Up you go. Four, three, two, one. Nice. Up for bicep curls. Grab your weights. Let's go with a medium set, like not too heavy because we're going to do a big set here. It's going to be high rep. These are called 21s. So we break the bicep curl up into three different parts. First, we're going to go full bicep curls, hands forward, up. We're doing seven right here. So we're doing three sets of seven, which equals 21. Elbows are close by your side. Five, six, exhale, stay with us, seven. Okay, now halfway, 90 degrees and fully down. Start the move, come up halfway, put it down in control. Good, this is your second set of seven. You have three more just like this. Check your wrist for me, flat, good, nice. Okay, next last set, halfway. Touch your shoulder, halfway. Good. Elbows tight, two more. Very nice, good. Little trick now, little pot twist. Hang on to these. <laughs> Left leg is in front for these loaded lunges. Tap, stay in your crouch. You go down a little bit as you tap, but you don't really climb when that foot comes forward. Eight, seven, five, four, three, two. Very good. Oh, that front leg is on fire. Drop and tap. Roll your shoulders back and down for me. Pull your belly button in to protect your lower back. Drop, don't stand. Drop, don't stand. Stay in it. Six, five. Four, three, two, one. I love it. Here we go. Side push up. On your right side, tuck your right elbow under and push. You guys are doing great. You are almost done. Keep going. Nine, ten, awesome. Flip it around. Push. These are no joke, these are hard. Three more, up. Great, okay. Same weight or heavier if you can for the next set of dumbbell. Uh, let's do it for biceps because it's 21. This time I'm gonna put the full curl in the middle. So we start with the half curl on the bottom. Ready, 90, down. When in doubt, go heavier. If you're not sure, go up. And then if you find that your form is failing, drop down as you fatigue. Last one. Good, now we have fulls, ready? Up, touch the shoulder. The goal is that you stay under contraction for a long time. Our goal is to not rush through this and get it over with. You wanna change your thought process when it comes to that. That's a cheater's mentality. We're gonna develop your work mentality. Last one, halfway down, ready? Touch the shoulder, catch it, good. Six, five, four, flex, three, two. Very good, now we're heavier on this lunge, let's go. Drop, touch, staying in the crouch. Back your head and neck is very relaxed here, letting your leg and your dumbbells do the work. Five, four, three, hang on, we're gonna do a pulse after this. Drop for me, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, deeper, 3, deeper, 2, 
Oh, nice. Down. Stay in your crouch. You're doing great, my essential fitness friends. Stay in it. Five, four, three, two, hold, pulse, nine, eight, seven, six, five, deeper, four, three, two, one. Beautiful. Okay, last set of these one arm push ups and push. Exhale up. You're going to go through your whole day knowing that you got your workout in. You're going to sleep great tonight, knowing that you tired out your body, and you're going to welcome rest. Switch. Breathe in, breathe out, extend. Using that shoulder and tricep. Six, five, four, three, two, last one for me. Good. Nice. Last set of 21s. This time the full comes at the end. So we're gonna start at the top. Halfway, flex, relax. Three, touch that shoulder, stay in control. Five, six, seven, bottom, here we go. Seven, six, five, good. Nice flat wrist. Keep that hand pointed towards the ceiling. Great, folds, ready, drag, slow. This is your slowest, hardest set. Turn your legs on a little bit. Squeeze your glutes. Keep your rib cage lifted and do not move. Only thing moving here is your hands and your elbow. I think that's five. You have two more. Awesome job, you guys. You are done. We're gonna take just about three minutes, three to five minutes. Let's stretch, okay? I'm proud of you. You did great. Let's go in that left leg lunge. Drop the right knee right to the floor. Hold here. Fold forward and reach towards your front foot. I hope you feel great. We worked your shoulders today, your legs, your rotator cuff and your upper back, your biceps. Anything else? <laughs> That's good. Triceps, yeah. Now let's take the left hand around. Twist and hold. Just relax here a second. Switch, good job. Change sides, fold forward. You can get a great workout at home. I know it's not the same as coming here, but you have to make do with what you have. And if you're determined to reach your health and fitness goals, you're gonna do it. You're not gonna let anything get in your way. Ready, twist. Great, back to the middle. Sit back in a child's pose. Sit down on your heels, walk your hands forward and drop your forehead to the ground. Sit a little bit off to the right. And a little bit off to the left. Great, roll it up. Okay, now we're gonna use your dumbbells for the next one, if you want. They're, they're just here for support, but we're gonna put them alongside your mat for balance. And that's kneel on the left leg, right leg is out in front of you because sometimes people can kind of get wobbly in this stance. So the dumbbells can be here for support, but fold forward towards that right leg. You can walk your hands toward it. Pull the toe up towards you for a little hamstring stretch, calf stretch, and then push the toe away. One more time, pull it up. 
good. Now, if you can, sit back on that left heel a little bit, fold down. Good, hold here. Great, up and switch. Last one. So these are here for balance. Toe up, fold forward. If you feel good, walk it forward. Great, toe forward and then pull back. I want you to try to drink a lot of water today. One more time forward and back. Good, then tuck your right toe under and sit back and down. So an example of a big water bottle like this for the average woman, it should be three of these a day, minimum. That's not even if you're sweating heavily. And um, if you feel thirsty, generally that's an indicator that it's, you're already a little dehydrated. So try to get in one of these before noon. If you only drink one of these a day, then your next goal would be to get up to two, maybe one and a half to two, work, work your way up slowly. Good, up on your knees, and let's take your hands overhead and lean to the left. Please um, write in the comments section if you have any questions for us, we are here to help you. Other side. That's it, everybody. Thank you so much for joining us. Have a wonderful day. Nice job. Good job.